Masbia actually means to satiate in Hebrew, to satisfy. Masbia has a very simple mission that's actually on our books. Serving nourishing meals to all. That's all we do. We are a standalone soup kitchen and food pantry program. We are, there's nothing else going on other than feeding people. Masbia's patrons are kind of the mosaic of New York City. There's all kinds of people, all ages, all races, all ethnicities, all religions. People come and eat here. The food happens to be kosher, but we serve everybody. And we do see a significant amount of elderly coming. Some of the elderly simply have a problem putting together a nice warm meal. Some can't afford a good, nourishing, wholesome meal. So we try to be here for everybody, children, middle-aged men, women, but we do see a significant amount of seniors here, and that amount is constantly growing. We are going from roughly 20% seniors to closer to 30% seniors of our entire program. We got a lot of seniors coming in just to, to get a basic uh, camaraderie, to just meet people, and obviously to get their basic nourishment. And it is very, like every senior has a different story. When you have a senior standing on line that's 98 years old, that's kind of like, you, you only hope you had a magic way to bring them forward in the line. I'm semi-retired and we're going to be married, my husband and I, 50 years in a few months. And I said, my husband said, I drive him crazy at home, so go out and uh, volunteer. I think hey, we're looking for a team leader here and I was team leading at some other projects. And since it's only like a 10 minute ride from my house, I decided to volunteer. The elderly here, yes, a lot of them are homeless, elderly, we have many in their 80s and 90s. I have my other project that I do with Holocaust survivors, of course most of them are 80, 90, so I see what people who are fortunate enough to have what to eat. When you come here, we see what you cannot. People in needy clothes and uh, food, and they come on, on Thursday for the pantry distribution, but then we realize that many of them are homeless and they can't have a can, so we try to give adjust the bag to flip tops or to tuna individual packets of tuna and whatever we can that they will eat on the street. I come here because the food is good and, and I need a little more help because I don't have enough of money to go around to pay for everything for food, clothing, my health insurance. Uh, I don't have any, any insurance, I only have Medicare. I have medicine I do without sometimes. Uh, if I don't have the money for the prescription, I don't buy it. I buy something over the counter, this less money. I walk instead of taking buses. So as, the money doesn't go around for everything. I don't have enough. They need more direction. They've run out. They don't have the right, some of them don't have an address, so they can't get food stamps. Some of them uh, don't get social security checks. Some of them don't know how to apply for additional benefits. There has to be a way that people can get a free Metro card and being able to go to different places to eat. And uh, it's a sad situation. And the law bankers should do something about this. When I retired, I, I thought I would have enough money to, just to pay for minimum things, not to over, like go out to restaurants all the time and stuff like that, but just have enough money to pay for my bills and for my food. It's not quite what I imagined to be. There's no such a thing as the golden years.